Hey everybody and welcome back to the new adventure. I'm Monica. And I'm John Michael. Today we want to talk to you about our top five aftermarket upgrades we made to our Wolfpack toy hauler. Yes. Plus one bonus. Here we Here go. Here we go. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about is our toilet. Now when we got this camper, it came with a Dometic 300. It was supposed to be a 310 series. But the 300 was a plastic toilet and it developed a, a leak. That was a known problem from Dometic. They were holding wastewater in them. So ours developed a pool of it and it developed an odor. So we ended up going with the 320 series toilet. It comes with a sprayer on it. It's a ceramic toilet. It's wonderful. We like it. It really brings the home bowl with you. So you're able to just go in confidence anywhere. But we love this toilet. I think it's probably the number one upgrade you need to make. So the number two thing that we highly, highly, highly recommend is this oxygenic shower head. Now I've heard this on other channels. That's actually, we got the idea from YouTube because we have two kids and when we travel, we like to camp off grid. Well, water becomes a problem when you're a family of four and you're camping off grid. Now this particular RV does have a 100 gallon freshwater tank, which is excellent. Um, however, when you're showering and you have two kids, it can go pretty quickly. So this actually mixes oxygen or air somehow into the line and whenever you're washing you get kind of like a um, blast effect so you don't have to use as much water. Highly recommend this. It's not that expensive. You can get them on Amazon. I'll actually leave y'all a link down below for this. I think it's like $49.99 or something around there. Totally worth the purchase. Alright so we ended up with the toy hauler because we haul a Ranger crew with us so it's quite a big side by side button in a toy hauler but this one fitted so we were all excited about that and our first trip out when we brought our ranger we strapped everything down we ran into a huge problem the d-rings that come from the factory they're just it's a d-ring that's not clamped or it's just clamped it's not welded so they don't touch on the back side of it so these d-rings on three locations actually pulled it out so it allowed our ranger just to slide back and forth in the back and flop all over the place we can show you a video we'll leave a link to that one of what we did or what happened to us so we thought all right let's change out these and replace them so we upgraded our d-rings when those tow hooks failed i went on amazon and found some better stronger tow hooks found these they mount in any location they have eight bolt holes i thought that would do better but i still didn't have a peace of mind about it so i started looking at what car haulers use um, guys that do this professionally and they use this track it's either e-track or z-track i was able to find it at harbor freight I mounted it with every screw, screw hole it came with, and I'm able to put ratchets in any location I want. And I go over top of the tire, and it securely mounts anything to it that we want to, and it is held wonderfully. So tip number three from us, and this is really with any camper, not just the toy hauler, but whenever we get a new camper, we do like to upgrade the mattresses. The mattress that came on our bed in the back, the Happy Jack bed system, was about this thick. So when we were out west this past summer in Utah, um, it just was a really big problem. So we ended up going down to Walmart and getting a mattress topper that was about like this and then just adding the two together. That was kind of a pain. So I would recommend if you're gonna be going on a longer trip and you are taking somebody that's gonna sleep on the, one of those beds, go ahead and do that before you go so that you have all the proper tools because we ended up having to get a king size mattress topper and then cut it to fit because it's that bed is a weird shape so it doesn't nothing is going to fit it perfectly so just be ready to adapt that this is what came with the camper it's like a inch and a half maybe i think it's just an inch yeah i'm being generous well that's not working too well <laughs> didn't bring my turkey carbon set with me called improvising. Do you need help? This camper does come with a camper queen, which those of you that know, it is a shorter bed. For us, it is a problem. We don't love it. So what we did was we actually extended out where our mattress sits to make it longer. We have not yet bought a bigger mattress. This one is not the one that came with the camper. We did get our own mattress for it. However, it is also shorter. So we plan on upgrading this mattress again and getting one that's longer now that we've made the bottom of the bed bigger. Last thing I want to touch on is our cabinets. So they're a little high to be able to look in and see if you don't know what you're going for up there. So they would fall back down. We added stay open hinges. It's three screws, super simple. Got them from Amazon. It's able to hold the cabinet open, 
we can get in, get what we want to, see what we need to, shut them back down, and it's no big deal at all. The stove and hinges were a huge plus for us. So my bonus tip for y'all, now this is super quick and easy to do. We just added these blackout curtains in here, and what I did was I went, I think, to either Walmart or Target, and I just bought a long blackout shape because it already has the little rod pocket on the top and then I just cut them to fit the window and I just stitched the back of them. Super easy, just put a hem on them straight across. Anybody can do that. It's super, super easy and I think they were probably about you know five dollars or ten dollars for a pack of two panels. So this really helps with the heat in here in the summertime and also if you want to sleep past when the sun comes up, definitely recommend these. So we know there are tons of things that people do to their campers to personalize them and upgrade and we would love to hear some of the things that y'all have done to your campers. And just, Absolutely. Yeah. Your, your camper's an extension of you. Right. So what you do fits what you want to do. So how are you guys altering your campers to make it better fit you? We might need some ideas from what y'all got going on. Absolutely. So thank y'all so much for watching and um, we'll leave links down below to everything that we mentioned on except for the floor tracks. Those are Harbor Freight and none of our stuff that we mentioned is a sponsored thing. So everything we've told you about is our honest opinion of these purchase these. that a necessity absolutely so uh, be sure and um, hit that subscribe button guys because only 2% of y'all that watch our videos are subscribers so subscribe because we do have a lot of content like this about our camper about what we're getting yes. into so hang yeah. out with us yes absolutely all right so we will see y'all next week and uh, we just appreciate you watching bye guys bye all right so those only anchor well, hey Ellie <laughs> <laughs> hi ah! Ellie sit I'm getting eaten is she scared sit. 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 Ellie, sit. Sit, Ellie. Sit. Okay, go.